Hey rock stars, I wanted to show you with our new party tools how you could set up a show. So I'm going to share my screen. Okay, great. So this is when you log in, this is kind of the, the look that you have. So um, when you get here, you can, um, what I would say is just go over here to your parties and orders and click that. And it's going to bring up a screen that looks like this. Any shows you've already entered are going to be right here. So you're going to click new party. And then you're going to choose. Oh, let me back up. Because, so when you click this, there's a toggle version. So um, if you have the old school and you click new party, this is what it will look like. So, but I don't want to do that. I want to show you how to do it with the new tools because this is what it's going to be changing to. Um, so if you're a new consultant, you may as well start with the way it's going to be for the future. So make sure you hit that toggle so that it's, you're trying the new party tools right here. And then um, go to, you could do see parties and orders or see all parties and orders here. So click your new party. And then this particular one that I'm setting up is an in-person. And if it was a fundraiser or a wedding shower, you would click one of those, but it's not. Uh, the date of this show is 11. Actually, it'd be easier to do it this way. It's the 10th, and her show is at noon. Okay, so it's at noon, and it's p.m. So um, the deadline says for a week later. I like to make mine for about five days. Um, so I will move that to there. If you have names already in your contacts, when you start um, typing their information in, it's going to come up with where you can scroll to find the particular person. I have way too many people in here. So let's do this one right here. And so you click on their name and then it will auto fill their information. Now, if you do not have them in your system, then you would fill in name. Email is a required field on everything. So it's very important that you have the email address for the host that you're setting up. The other thing that is important is, um, let's say you have someone that does not have an email. Yes, there are still people nowadays that do not have emails. If you were to do that, the format that Pembroke Chef wants you to use is you enter their phone number and then you put the at sign and you put mytpc.com. So it's my, the Pembroke Chef. So mytpc.com and you have to have that. And then a phone number is also required. So let me put that in really quick. And it's not going to be at a different location, so I don't need to change that. And it's not going to ship somewhere different, so that's all good there. If you already have a Facebook party set up, um, you can put the name of what it's going to be on there. She's not going to be doing a Facebook party with hers, so um, oh, I lied, that's the Facebook one right here. So um, I always like to put the host name Kim's Pampered Chef Party or uh, Kim's wine, cheese, and chocolate party or whatever. So we haven't talked about menu yet. I can always come back in here and change this. And then the party page, this right here, this is what the shopping URL or the show URL is that you're going to give your host so that they can invite people so that their people can place orders if they can't make it to the show. So this is the information that's really important right here that you're going to need. If you have the Facebook, you would put it here. So I'm going to hit create party. Ooh, excuse me. Okay, so it brings up this page right here. So see where it says party page and share. If you cl click the share, you can share it to Facebook. You can share an email or you can copy the link. Most of the time I copy the link and put it in an email or anything like that. Or if I'm going to put it into um, the Facebook event so that they have the shopping uh, link, that is where I would copy it to. Let's say it changes and I need to edit something. You just come back here and you click edit and you go back and change anything you need to change. Now for the theme, it's going to take you back to our old system um, until they get all of this done. So it's a work in progress, so just be patient. Um, if she's doing a wine, cheese, and chocolate party, you can switch through all the different themes that are available. 
and wine, cheese, and chocolate's there somewhere. Just gotta get there. So you can select that. And this right here changes based upon, so like here it says you're invited to wine, cheese, and chocolate. If I choose sip and dip, you're invited to a sip and, sip and dips party. Um, I'm just gonna leave it as a cooking show until we decide our theme. If you wanna change the image, if you know what you're doing, and let's say it is a wine, cheese, and chocolate party, or you're doing a quick cooker recipe, the salsa lettuce wraps, um, you could choose this and save, and then it changes the image that is gonna appear. And I'll show you here in just a minute, I'm gonna just switch it to this. I'll show you in just a minute where that image will appear. Okay, I don't have a Facebook event, so I don't need to put that in. This is that show URL right here, pamperedjeff.com slash party slash. And then it typically will put the first and last name with the date of the party. And that is the link that you can copy it and use. So what I want you to see is um, preview show page. This is what the guest will see when they click on that show URL. So see that banner that I changed to that? If I hadn't changed it, the brownie pan image would be there. It has who it's hosted by. Remember I changed that Pamper Chef Party to say Kim's Pamper Chef Party. So that's where that came in. And they can add it to their calendar. They can get directions. It has the host number. They can RSVP and they can shop. So if they scroll down, it gives them, you know, kind of what we're going to do, some new things, and your information as the consultant. So now I want to show you one other thing. Let's say um, what you can do is you can have your host enter that pamperedchef.com slash party slash Kim Watts 1011. So enter that show URL on her phone browser, then she or even on her computer. She can click this share right here. And she gets the same things that we had. So she can share it with her friends on Facebook, or she can email her friends to invite them, or she can send the link um, however she wants to on her texting. So um, if you do that on your phone, then it comes up with an additional option for texting. So that is, so I'm going to close the show preview page. Um, that is um, how you set up the show. If the host gives you the names and email addresses, you can do the quick ad for the host uh, and put them in and you can send the invitation. You can also email your host at the beginning and it gives her some tips on what she needs to do to set up her Pamper Chef account so that she'll have access to her host dashboard um, and other quick tips. Make sure you read through there and if you need to edit something, you can. And then after the show is over, there's another email that will tell how much they saved by hosting a show. And I always send that after my show. And then um, if the host has created a wish list, you'll see it here. Or if you're doing a bridal shower, you'll be able to attach it here. There's not a wish list, so I can't with this one. And then you can even send a shopping list. You can create your own and send it to her or print it or you can use one of the season's best recipes. I would always encourage you to do create your own. And the reason why is because you want it to read like a shopping list and you don't want it to read like a recipe. So like a recipe will say half a cup of shredded cheese. You don't want her to buy shredded cheese. You want her to buy a block of cheese. So that's why it's important for you to write the shopping list for the recipe that you're choosing. So we'll go back to the show info page. Remember where I showed you that preview? Same thing, you can click it here and it brings up that same thing to share. So you can check it out whenever you're done setting everything up. So that is how you set up a show. And once you have it set up, see, it's listed here. And this is the one I just created. Um, it's listed in my list of shows and parties. So that's how you do it. And um, Hopefully you're booking lots of shows and when you get them set up and uh, everything that you can give that information to the host, make sure you get their host packet to them in a timely manner too. So uh, let's get booking and uh, get quick start on our business. Get off to a strong start. Bye.